Hey, welcome to Mike's Trains and thanks for joining me for another video. The last time I talked about new series, we talked about the next big project and I told you everything that's going on here and this is going to be the first beginning of what's going to happen for this series. Um, the thing we're going to start with is building the uh, strip mall that's going to go over here. So we're covering this whole area. Um, so let's get into how this is going to get done. The first thing I did, as you can tell, I took out the, the buildings that were in here. Now I'm going to have to strip out all this grass. Um, this is a plaster coating. As you can see, I pulled out the sidewalks and there's, there's, uh, I can't remember exactly what I used. It's either joint compound. I think it might be joint compound that I used in there. All of this needs to come out. I need to get this down to the plywood so that I can get a nice flat surface to build up on. Um, and I'm also going to take out the road, this road right here that goes across and up to the tracks because we're going to change the way this road goes in. But the first thing to do here is getting the strip mall built. Now, what I've done is I took a measurement of the whole length of this, all right? Because I need to make the footprint for the building. And this is what I came up with. This is a paper model of what is going to go in here. So this is the strip mall. And this is, this is what I'm going to put in here. So I'm doing everything on paper to start because I need to, to make sure that it's going to fit. And paper is far cheaper than buying styrene and building something and find out, oh, no, it doesn't fit. So I do everything on paper first. So it's an L-shaped uh, strip mall. And now on the styrene, we need a sidewalk that goes across the front. And I also need to do, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a look at pictures when we go upstairs of the actual uh, uh, strip mall that I'm building. And uh, then we can get started. This whole area here is all parking lot. This road that comes down, you can see how it comes in right here. It's wide and then I narrowed it out. Well, this road is going to continue wide all the way down and it's going to, remain the same. This is a four-lane road. Um, it's going to stay a four-lane road all the way through. So why don't we go upstairs. All right, so we're on my desk now and, and I thought I'd give you a little bit of history as to how I came up with the the shape and size of this, uh, of this sh uh, strip mall. Um, what I'm doing is I'm building something I've wanted to do for a while. Uh, if you watched Breaking Bad back when it was on, uh, one of the characters in here was Saul Goodman, and uh, this is his office building. And um, I kind of want to build his strip mall. So, so this is it right here. And this is how we came up with that shape that I showed you downstairs. And I'll show you how I came to all of this once, once I show you all this. So this mall is obviously much bigger than what I'm building and what I'm doing is we're building building this mall right here so this this is the shape and what I'm doing is I'm cutting off this is um, selective compression I, I would guess we're cutting off here so this is the end of the mall right here this edge right here goes to the road on the layout we're not gonna build any of this stuff and then this building is set at an angle to this side and then the mall comes back down the other side over here so you have this angled part right here and then you have this part right here that comes down at an angle so that's the shape of the building that we're going for now obviously I can't build I don't have room to make this section right here the full length of a full storefront 
So we have to shrink that down a little bit. Um, and the rest of the stores going down this other side here will be just fine. We, we can add those in. But the things we have to we have to compress are this building right here in the corner and we're getting rid of all of these on this side. All of this is gone. Um, let, let me get into another picture and I'll show you how I came up with the dimensions that I had. Okay, so here's another picture and it shows a little bit more of the face of the building. So obviously we've gotten rid of this part here, right? So now you have to look at, we're gonna look at this part inside of here. So this is almost a whole glass front. We have a short wall right here, and then we have all these windows. We have two sets. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, right there. One, two, three, four, five. And then there's a door on each end okay so what you need to do or what I did was I, I did a rough estimate so I figured these windows to be eight feet high by I went by a, a dimension because I can't go there and measure it I went by a dimension of six feet across by eight feet high for each panel it might be a little wide but it's fine it'll work out um, I, I'm, I'm, I, I have it I drew it out and and I think it'll look just fine um, so knowing this dimension right here gives us the dimension for the rest of the building now these doors commercial glass doors like this are generally three feet wide by seven feet high so that gives me a seven foot it gives me a one foot sort of glass transom above the door but only three feet and then we have a small gap between the same as on this side right here and then we have concrete wall here and concrete wall here so what I did was I made the length of this store six inches and I kind of fit all that in there and I'll show you those diagrams in, in a minute now this angled building in here I'm not gonna build this to what it is I'm gonna put in what I want to put in there and we're going to leave it at that. Um, we're still going to have this angle, this this uh, 45 or whatever degree part here where the cars are parking. This will still be in there. Um, so we'll get the general gist of everything. Um, but let's, let's look at uh, the diagrams that I drew to go along with what this is going to build. All right, so now we're down to the desktop. I've showed you in the vid in the uh, in my computer screen exactly what I'm building, and now let's look at what I what I've already done. Now I showed you downstairs. I had this paper template here, and uh, this is kind of what I made to show me what I what I want. This is for the footprint of the building. Um, now along with this I also made the sidewalk. All right, And this fits right in here like this. And it's the right size and it fits right in. Now what this does is it allows me to know how much of this sidewalk material I need, how much of this styrene I need, and then I have another one for the walls. Um, now at this point I went downstairs again and I, and I matched it all up and it turns out that this base right here is just a little bit too wide so I have this at uh, let's see what do I have it at yeah I have it at like two and a half inches um, it's a little bit too much so I narrowed this down to two inches alright so this paper here isn't exactly accurate but that's why I do this I cut this down to two inches and then this sidewalk is a little bit too wide as well okay so when looking at this paper here this this template let's take this out for a moment 
Now you can see over on this end, these are the marks that I made to see, to, to show me clearances for the windows. So I said they were six feet. Um, what I'm saying is they're six feet wide by eight feet high. And they, these are the, the, the spots on there. So you got one, two, three, four, five. There's a wall section, one, two, three, four, five. And you have a door and a door. And it fits perfectly in there. Um, this is wider. This is another six foot section. The door is only three feet. That gives us our little section of wall at this end. And the same on this side gives you a little section of wall, just like in the, in the photos I showed you on the computer. Now, again, I started to talk about the sidewalk. This fits in here like this, all right? Now, what I did, and I needed to do this in order to check clearances, is I made this. This is a small section of wall right here. It's the front wall, which is the same length as this building right here. I put sidewalls on it. So this is the overhang of the front of the building that's going to go in the corner right here. So I took this and I placed it in here. And originally, well actually that's the way this one is. It, it comes out to the edge of the sidewalk. See, this is how, how it has to come. So if this one comes out here like this to the, to the second square on the sidewalk, like this, and then we take another wall and we run it from this side the same way, two squares. It kind of leaves our opening in here very small. And I didn't like that. So what I've done is I backed this up. So now this overhang, I cut off one square all the way around. That gives us, that's in scale feet, one square is a little over six feet, which should be enough for, for a sidewalk in front of here. So I cut off one square here, 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 and here. So the actual thing is much smaller, much shorter. And what that does, when you, when you put a wall in here like this, and then we add our second wall onto this side, we're only coming out to one square, now that opens up that, that opening here much, much more. And it gives our, our, our compression of the whole building a little more validity. I think it looks a little better. Um, and that's what we're going to go with. So knowing what I know from the paper templates here, I can go ahead and make the styrene templates. And then as far as the stores themselves go in here, you can kind of see I'll, I'll, let me let me show you what I built, and then we'll get into what's going to go in here. Um, let's get rid of these and bring in the styrene floor base that I made. So this is the actual base that's going to go in here. All right. So now you can see we have one sidewalk, one one square wide, cuts this out, and then we have another length here. And now I've messed with the length of the, the stores themselves. Um, hopefully this shows, because I'm, I'm having a hard time seeing it on my monitor, but hopefully it shows the pencil lines that are on here. I have one, two, three, four, five, six businesses within this little shopping mall. Um, we'll start at this end. This is going to be Saul Goodman's office from Breaking Bad. All right. I really have I've wanted to build this for a long time, and I think we're finally going to be able to do this. We're going to get this done. So we start out with Saul Goodman's office here. We're going over here to Kelsey's Bar. Um, if you're old enough to have seen All in the Family, um, I grew up with it, so you know I, I saw it all the time. Kelsey's Bar is the bar that Archie always hung out at. Um, now this one I have to kind of make up because in the show and all my research there were never any outside shots of this bar anywhere. Uh, they never did it on the TV show, they never did it anywhere. So this is going to be totally, I'm going to make it up and that'll happen. This one right here is the Comic Center. Now I, I enjoy watching Big Bang Theory. Um, I don't know if anybody else does, but I do. And the guys in that show hang out at a place called the Comic Center. That's the comic book store where they go that's going to be here. Um, 
I do have the logo for this already, um, and and that'll be um, that'll be coming into here. Then we move down to here, and this is Jefferson Cleaners from the Jeffersons. Um, that's what we're going to put in here, and then we move over to here, which is the smallest of all the stores, which is CC Mobile. And CC Mobile, if you watch Better Call Saul, uh, that's the cell phone store he worked for that he was he was working at for a little while. Um, and then the last place here, this is for my daughter. Uh, she uh, she likes animals, and and I had promised her I was going to put a pet store in somewhere in in the uh, in the layout somewhere for her, and this is going to be it. So this is this is Taylor's Pet Emporium, and that covers our whole shopping mall. Um, so I, I think it's going to work out all right. Now this is cut out of styrene, and I just wanted to show you this is an N scale car, and sizing ends up being pretty darn good there. So yeah, I, I think we're going to roll with this. Now to build this, very simple. I have this is made out. Of, it's, a, it's a little thinner styrene than I would have liked. This is forty thousandths, but the good side of the forty thousandths, it's the same thickness as the sidewalk material. Okay, so forty thousand sheet styrene, and what I have is I had one piece running this way, and the seam for it is. Let's see if I can find it. Yeah. So when you look on the back side, here's what I did. And you've seen me do this before. I glued the sidewalk to the styrene here. And then I have 10,000 styrene that I glue as a splint between the two so that they don't fall apart. Um, and, and that's all this is. And then the, the seams between the two. So I have the one long strip here, and then which goes to right here. And then this ended here. We added the new one here which gave us our L shape and then the sidewalks all added on to all of that and then I put splints these splints on the edge here these are where I had to join squares of sidewalk together I do this so that this stuff doesn't start falling apart on me later on in the building process um, because these glue joints no matter how good you glue them they will break apart and you really don't want to have problems with them later on in the process so this is where we're at with this. So this base is complete. Now we can start building up. Okay. Um, this is the final configuration for all of this. Now for the walls that are going in here, I have, let me get rid of this. We have another diagram, which is right here. Hopefully this is showing up on camera. Let's see if I can get in a little closer. There we go. Okay, so this is the diagram for for the the uh, the walls in the in the building. So when you're looking at this, this is the Saul's storefront right here. Okay, so these are the windows. These are six feet wide by eight feet high. And in the store, in the pictures I showed you, there was a divider that ran down the center. We have a door at this end, plus a section of wall. Door at this end, section of wall. Now, I wrote all the dimensions because I need to have this so I can start cutting the pieces out. So what I have is these are, I have the actual dimension and I have the actual um, scale dimension. So this is two inches high, which ends up being 26 scale feet. We're six inches long, which is 78.5 scale feet. Um, the awning that runs down in front of the building, okay, and this is the marquee right here. This is eight feet, and this is where the awning will sit across the front. So it's eight feet down from the top, and that'll come down at an angle. And you can see that right here. And then the awning will sit down from that a little bit because this, this piece here needs to ride higher than the awning. And I need two of these because I have two stores that are this length. All right, and that's that's how you get the dimensions. So I started with the windows, and then I just grew from there. I can kind of figure out what I want to do from there. These are the end walls. After I've done all these measurements here, I figured out the store sides, the store fronts, 
Then I had to go in and count up how many of each I need. So I have seven of these sides, two of these longer six inch storefronts, and then I have other storefronts here. So these are, are dimensions. So it's two windows, a door, and two windows times one. So I've got one, two windows, a door, and then two windows. That's what this is. That'll cover one of the storefronts. That's probably going in front of the CC Mobile place. This one right here is three windows, one door, three windows, and I need two of those. So one, two, three windows, a door, one, two, three windows. And that's the storefront for the rest of the stores in there. And that covers all of the stores in the plaza. Um, so anyway, you know, that's, that's the plan, that's the idea. I showed you, I, I'm just giving you an idea of what I'm going through in order to program, to um, plan all this out. Uh, this is this is what it takes for me to visualize what goes on and, and how we're gonna how I'm gonna get this built and this is the process I'm gonna I'm gonna go through uh, I've drawn the blueprints now now I need to start cutting this stuff out in in real time and get this all done um, so anyway that's gonna be it for this week um, planning the uh, the shopping mall is now done now we got to get building um, if you're just finding me for the first time, uh, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that subscribe button and follow along as we build this project. If you'd like to see some, some finished photos of my layout, you can visit my website at mikestrains.wordpress.com. You can see what my layout's about. There's a lot of pictures over there. There's, there's also, if you haven't seen yet, uh, I put up uh, pictures of my completed backdrop if you haven't seen them yet the the, the completed backdrop um, behind my train station it, it came out pretty good I, I like it so until next time happy modeling <laughs>